right, how's it going, everyone? I am the Emerald Raider, and I'm joined by... The Jado. And where we last left off, we were just running around doing some side quests, uh, some side gigs. And uh, now I'm thinking we should probably head over and... The uh, hell? A racketeer. <laughs> now I'm thinking we should head over and uh, maybe speak to Takamura, huh? Oh yeah, we had just talked to him. I did not mean to press that. Oh, uh, that's when the Arasaka Tower was nuked. Man, this game is pretty. So, uh, Takamaru is not far from here, so we'll just go ahead and uh, walk over there. Just having lunch. Can we please sit? Not a fucking you dog. It looks so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted that you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. All right, so the Jade Elf's mic has been muted. <laughs> she just barely started talking though, so it's fine. <laughs> Is this about the biochip? This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What do you want? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn. What's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. Been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question. Been looking for her? Been looking for her? Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? No idea. Think so, yeah. Don't think so, no. Asking too many questions. Don't think so. Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. <sighs> okay, got a life to save my own, so... Oh, better be gone. Better be gone. Is that all? Really should be going. Wait. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice in Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. 
I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Want me to curse Yorinobu in front of Arasaka execs? What if I say no? What if I say no? What if There's I no say time no. to waste, be Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Yeah, uh -huh. reasonable so people. Procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This cooperation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. Anders Haman mean those kinds of people? What kind of people we talk about? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear are its heart. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Until that eventual and unconditional surrender in 1945. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. <laughs> hey, he changed it. I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Um, you heard me. Um, let yeah. go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. And to draw attention to ourselves. Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. He's used to just fucking shooting people in the head that say shit like that. Yeah, need time to think it over. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I mm. need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Try my look with Evelyn Parker. Relic's engineer knows more than everybody else. Ooh. Who are we gonna trust? Relic's engineer. The Anders Helmet. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. To the corpo one. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. You know more than Somebody's that? been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found, things to prepare. 
Your job, basically. It was my job. Why were you looking for Hellman? Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Sabro-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place, the club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. You spot the corporal in you? No experience talking to people like that. Um, bottom one. No experience talking to people like that. Mean There's to say no you worked for Saboro, <laughs> yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about a plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends. Call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. For sure, bro. Who down here killed oh me? Oh my god. Oh. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Lee buddy is now? You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? Everybody's like, who the you know, you fuck are you speak talking out to? Loud to <laughs> talk to me. <laughs> what do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. I don't trust you. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You can help you me? You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogel danced any tune I play, or just get us to the afterlife. And there is no us. And he's gone. He left the pizza too. Can we eat it? No. Oh, it's a supreme. I only like pepperoni. <laughs> so automatic love. We can go to Evelyn to find. Go find Evelyn at Lizzie's bar, and optionally, we can call Judy to see if she knows where Evelyn is. Hey, look. What the huh. heck? Interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? Either gone completely whacked, or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. 
More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. It's a graffiti resembles a major arcana tarot card, the chariot. That why that's why he said you ought to t- um, talk to Misty. Mm-hmm. So uh, we got some we got some texts. It looks like. Wait, how do I check the messages? <laughs> oh, left or right? There we go. Okay. Hey, we need a favor, Chumba. Wanna hold the clearance sale? No junk, pre merch only. You know me. Problem is, hardly no one else does. Business slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by, browse around? Won't be better, won't find better deals anyplace else. And if you could put out a good word to your chums, I'd really appreciate it. Robert Wilson. That's the gun guy. <laughs> Evelyn Park. We're messaging Eve- Evelyn. What do you want to tell her? Oh, that wasn't her. That was us. Yeah, this is us. What do you want to tell uh, me? The bottom one. Wow, she's quick. Heard you're making a name for yourself out there. How about some new digs too, huh? My chum over at Easy Estates told me there's a few fresh units for rent. They could give you a current pad and make makeover too. Go check their net page or visit them in person before some gonk grabs the best one. Think it's right up your alley. We don't have the money for that, right? I will just tell them we'll check it out. What I'm talking about, V, you'll love what I have in store for you. Guns, rides, digs, only the best for my people. That's one of the fixers. Okay, so we got automatic glove. We've got foot on the hill. We can talk to Misty about the tarot we just saw. Oh, we can talk to Barry in the building, but we're not in the building anymore. Human nature. We got to wait until they call us. We can find some psychos or we can go to the map as well. We got go to the afterlife for one of the main quests. Talk to Misty and talk to Victor for the tarot card. And we got a side job right here. What do you want to do? Those are the closest ones. There's also search and recover and a cyber psycho sighting. Let's do a side job. This one? Yeah. All right, let's head over there. Oh, we got Jackie's bike. Oh. You can see our character. I like the bike. Just don't crash it, okay? Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> we only have one bike. Did I pick the wrong one? What the fuck? It's a side job. Oh. Someone said her dad'll fuck me up. Immediately <laughs> crash it. Oh, it's in the afterlife. Cool, we'll come in here, but we won't talk to Rogue. We'll just see what they got to say for side job wise. Graffiti resembles a major tarot card, the Empress. What's up, gorgeous? Fuck you, guy. Mm-hmm. What now? Call for backup? Cracks heads open, drag the bodies inside. How's so, things? Dog, How's things? All about rest. Go in. <laughs> so shut the fuck up. <laughs> Did um, want um, Oh, wait. Thanks. Want to memorialize a friend? How's business? Enjoy working in the afterlife? Uh, how's business? Business booming, I hope. Seen it yourself. Can't complain. Folks always get thirsty, and we're here when they do. Enjoy working here? How's the afterlife? Working here, I mean. No real complaints. Fights are rare, and when they do happen, they're over quick. Killer clientele. Am I right? Your words, not mine. What's the one I'm memorializing a friend thing? Chula mine earned the spot. A chula bowl with a bun? Yeah, sorry to hear. Oh, 
vodka on the rocks, lime juice, and ginger beer. Splash of love. That's right. And the drink's name. A Jackie Wells. Right. Well, the first Jackie Wells is on me. Hey, thanks, Claire. No problem. Just holler if you need anything. Could definitely go for a drink. Tough day. Like any other. So, what'll it be? One of Jackie Wells. We can't get one, huh? A Jackie Wells. Yeah. Minus 10 movement percent movement speed and minus 50 accuracy. Oh, wow. For 30 seconds. We will get a Jackie Wells. There is also a Johnny Silverhand. What does that do? Same thing for 30 seconds. Mm. And if I remember correctly, there should also be a David Martinez. Who's David Martinez? From the Edge Runner show. Oh, wow. Did you get one? I did. I got all of them. And we are going to bottoms up. Mm -hmm. All three of them? And we barely feel it. Hey, where the hell is that side key? You said we were barely feeling it. Oh, now we're feeling it. Dang, she's upset. She told Rogue to go fuck herself. Hey, interested in some That's Bay if you're a male, by the way. <laughs> Doing what? A business opportunity. Cargo transport. Get from A to B, quick and quiet. Interested? And the job to fix her? What does that mean? Usually they go through a fixer to get jobs. Okay. He's going through it directly. Something Send the fixer. You ought to run this by a fixer first. What the middleman? They're cash drained. Attitude like that won't get you far in this line of work. I don't need a Dennis Kramer. I need a transporter. Will you do it or not? Listening. I'm listening. It's simple. You go to the Kabuki waterfront, collect the package, give me a call, then I tell you how to deliver it. Very straightforward. Everything except my pen. Don't worry, there's a bonus in it for you. Imported and duty free. Duty free and detail free. Yes, but altogether fair. It's a simple job, generously compensated. You accept? Yeah, I'm in. Yeah, sure, I'm in. Good, I knew we'd find a couple of terms. Head to the Kabuki waterfront, then search for a phrase with the words, no future. Once you locate it, collect what you find inside and call me for further instructions. Till so then, I guess. All right, let's go do that then. Sort of looks sick as fuck, too. <laughs> I thought you were gonna run into that car. <laughs> Ow. You ran into that one. <laughs> turned at the wrong place. <laughs> I you're just trying not to hit one of those cars. I will forever make fun of your game driving. Oh, look at this. We ran into some people because I took a wrong turn. Oh, scavengers, they're on site. Uh, 
Whoa. Oh, I forgot that you added that slow motion thing. The sand devastating, yeah. Bro, their head. There we go. Make easy work of these people using the sand devastating. We got a cyberware capacity increased with their chip. The hell are y'all doing over here, scavengers? Charles, you done? All good? Erif, Chum, you're F. Charles, what happened? Erif, F in wipe Tom and Boris. Charles, I told you there was a guard. Erif, yeah, well, he has some six foot borged out solo. Barely top, brought him down. Charles, but you got the stuff, right? Erif, I'm a F and zero U. Yeah, I'm mother of her. We got it. Charles, you'll see. We'll shift it and you'll cheer it right up. Just lay low somewhere. Let the dust settle. Erif, oh, you don't F and say. They steal from the wrong people? This is Arif. <laughs> Who the fuck did they steal from? More cyberware capacity, nice. Oh, okay, there we go. Readable. Roaring Phoenix, wow. All that. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Oh, but there's a lot of monies. Dang, that was a big bust. Oh, we could have exploded that if we, oh no, we can't because we can't hack anymore. Damn it, then you stop using that. <laughs> Alright. Well, anytime we run into sca any scavengers or maelstrom, that's mandatory because they're fucking assholes. Mm -hmm. Gotta get rid of the bad thing. <gasps> what? Did you just go on the roof? I think so. <laughs> <sighs> I'm surprised it can still function right now. Oh, the song was in uh, Edge Runners too. <laughs> All right, so we gotta go pick up a, a package. Looks like a little beach type thing, but very worn out. Very homeless. Ridden? Yeah. All oh, right, I got the double jump. Forgot about that. supposed to be finding a fridge with uh damn it you're supposed to be finding a fridge with the words and no future on them hmm. oh. Oh. <gasps> that's oh, shit. the package he's in rough Apparently. but alive let's hear what dennis has to say hey got a status Find the package? Could have told me this package is not a person. I mean, is a person. The package was a man. If it was a box of bananas, I'd use the post office. Get over it. Well, who is he? The ambassador to Mexico. Jesus, it doesn't matter who he is. <laughs> I prepared a car for you. Put the man in the trunk and head to Northside. The address is in the GPS. Oh, wow. Okay. One more thing. Watch for tigers. They've got their sights trained on your new companion. Oh, wow. What? <laughs> Asshole hung up. <sighs> you want to locate the car first? Yeah. 
Yeah, probably best to... Well, he's got a car, and the most easiest route is over there, so maybe we ought to wipe the route on Tiger Claws first. Yeah. See if they're over here. Nope, oh, I don't see any Tiger Claws, so... Come on, buddy, before any Tiger Claws show up. Oh. Some tiger claw showed up. Ah, crap. Go the other way. Go right. Go, go. Oh, really? It's like the game heard your plan. I was like, no. They're gonna show up either way. It's there right there. Okay. I think that's all of them, right? Oh, that's so disgusting. You got good at taking their heads off. <laughs> still alive i have no idea because it, it doesn't say pick up a person the person says carry the body and this guy is heavy <laughs> can i loot while you're in on my hand i cannot oh he's still alive i can't jump i can't run i gotta shimmy this man said i need somebody to carry somebody let me hire this small woman right <laughs> I wonder what the reactions will be. Oh, they're like, nope, walk the other way. <laughs> they're like, I didn't see shit, I didn't see shit, I didn't see shit. <laughs> well, this is uh, high octane gameplay over here. Shimmy is slowly shimmying to a ride. Everybody freaking the fuck out is going. I didn't see nothing. Almost there, almost there. Shimmy, 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 shimmy. This is what you'll find uh, three hours later. Okay? Why are you walking towards us? Okay. That's a really small car to put somebody in the trunk of the uh, Right. Alright, we'll get the hell up out of here. It looks like the Tesla sim. I know it's not a Tesla, but... Oh, I went the wrong way again. Oh, <gasps> oh wow. You really ran over him. Oh, now the cops are after you and you got a buddy uh, in the trunk of your car? <laughs> There's no cops after me. The entire closet just pissed. This really isn't far away. <laughs> but it did take him take a while for us to just carry him from one point to the other. Okay. By the way, uh, I'll tell you right now so you can look for it. This is an office reference. Job's done. I see that. Well done. Excellent work. Holding in there, all right, Hariyoshi? What the heck? They need to give me hope. My payment, who is this guy? Early warning about the tigers would have been nice. Who is this guy? So who is this guy? He'll tell you his story. Hariyoshi? In Japan. Brain surgeon. <gasps> oh. You would have got it even if I didn't tell you. Yeah. Tiger robots need surgery. But both die on table. Tiger crows were very angry. I hide in boat. Swim to America. Here, Dennis saved me. <laughs> secret. I killed kill Tiger, Tiger Cross on purpose. on purpose. World, World best surgeon. Make no mistake. The best is what they were missing. Early warning. Early warning about the tigers. <laughs> nice. I had a hunch you'd manage this just fine. Given that you're here now, I see I was right. Hey, man. It's all very heartwarming, but 
You haven't paid me yet. I know. Here. May this blade serve you well. Scapel. What's your name? What's your name again? Are you Ashi? Green Sanjonto. World of Best. Instinct. Oh, that, oh, okay. Where are you from exactly? Green Sanjonto. <laughs> oh, a huge office fan. I don't feel like I'm at the reciting. Well, I may be at the reciting level of some episodes, but. I can't take their car. Okay. Nope. What's close to where we are right now? There's an assault in progress. Well, here we are to save the day. You kind of like this because you're being like a vigilante, huh? Like Batman. Yeah. Oh. What the hell? Another oh, tiger claws, huh? Yeah, there we go. There's only two of them. Kill their asses before they can even react. <laughs> um, the, the gun? Oh, gross. Why doesn't she have red blood? I don't know. <laughs> Alert. I don't think he got it in time. Warning, Tiger Claw's headed for the building. Get back into your homes, lock and barricade the doors. I'm shutting down the doors and blocking the emergency exits. Oh, he was shut out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, sucks for you, bud. Was that all that was here? Um, no, there's some more. There's a lot of Tiger Claws down there. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh. oh, and that's a boss. <gasps> oh. What you gonna do? I'm gonna switch my grenade to uh, something more lethal. Fuck did you get behind me? That's a big one. <gasps> Bro. I found some Johnny Silverhand skill right there. <laughs> that one in his mind. You're welcome. Wait, if you had a gun, why weren't you shooting? I think he picked that up. Nah. Probably dumb. <laughs> Archived conversation. Hideto, yo, I know who talks. Said you were going to going in the building. Who? Girl, I might be dumb, but I ain't that dumb. Eddie's first, then Intel. Listen, gang. Oh, gonk. I'm going to count to five, and if you don't give me that name, I'm going to shove your ball so far up your ESS that you choke on him. One, two, three. Martin Lawrence. Jim's name's Martin Lawrence. Tetchy here. Said to hide. See, it wasn't so hard, was it? Was that Martin Lawrence in the construction hat? Or was that Martin Lawrence? Nope, that's Martin. Maybe Martin Lawrence was the guy at the top. Oh. Um. Let's check. Oh, he's not scannable. We're gonna head cannon. That's Martin Lawrence. <laughs> Be crazy if they actually made him look like Martin Lawrence, but 
that would probably be bad for the company if they didn't get his permission. Yeah, to use his likeness. Mm -hmm. Ow. We never got the gift. Let's go do that real fast. Didn't we get the gift, but we took it off? Was it that the tattoo? No. The gift is something that T-Bug had left for us, but we never went to go get it. Get a job. Stop scaring me. <laughs> He's like, get a job. A nice ass car. Love these legs. He books I made a grab. Oh. Oh, fuck. Chapter one. Oh, the undoing, a fall of the first net. Chapter one, the apocalypse. His name was Rach Bart Moss. Everyone knows who destroyed the first net. The real question is why? Netwatch branded him a criminal and outlaw. The media called him a madman. Is either label correct? You be the judge. Below is a previously unpublished letter which Bart Moss put out before the release of Rabbids. Why has this document only now just emerged? Well, someone out there did not want you, my dear readers, to ever lay eyes on it. All the more reason to take a deep dive into the information available to us. Maria Jimenez. The first net was supposed to save us. It would serve as a platform for those without a voice. It would offer unlimited knowledge to those who hungered over it. It would bring a fractured humanity closer together than ever before in our history, but these hopes were hollow. False. The net spread its tendrils around the globe faster than anyone could have predicted before anyone could even consider the full range of consequences. The information superhighway turned out to be our path straight to hell. We we were robbed of our privacy, deprived of our free will, stripped of our dignity. It was supposed to save us, but now even the net itself cannot be saved. It was molded by the corpse, the by the corpse that with sharp edges, spikes, and traps at every corner. Think of the net as a stream of water that flows gently into our minds before freezing, swelling, and destroying us from the inside out. But remember this about ice. As hard as it may be, it's surprisingly brittle. One well-placed strike and it shatters into a million tiny pieces. Watch out today and you'll see just what I mean. Rage Bartma. He apparently used that. Uh, he apparently did that one right before he fucked over the internet. Wow. T Bug's death. What did you hear? The truth. She got burned. Like anyone who tries to hit Arasaka. They found the body in her pad. Nervous system fried. You know what that feels like? Oh, man. Can't say I do. They say it's like a hundred thousand knives stabbing you at once. I can't imagine a worse way to go. Poor girl. I liked her, too. How's this work? Any punk off the street can waltz in here, grab some shady running soft? No, not just any punk. Over the counter, we fix cyber decks. But if you come recommended and you know what you are looking for, I'm sure you will find it. T-Bug sent me. Said you'd have something for me. Oh, so you are V. I'm sure you heard what happened. Real shame. She left a demon for you. A gift from beyond the grave. It should work on any third gen deck. Got a military paraline. Got a Militech Paraline. Think it'll do. Hmm. Solid gear. For a beginner. Okay. Glad to grab a demon always. You could test it now. I have an access point. If you'd like, that is. You might extract some Shimsoft or subroutines. Seems worth a try, either way. All right. If you guys did enjoy, please don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch y'all on the next one.